Down here in the pits at Brownstown with Ron Combs. Ron, you're uh, pretty much on a little personal winning streak here. How's your uh, season gone so far? Uh, it's doing really good. Um, we won a Gas City um, last weekend and then uh, again at Montpelier the night after, Saturday night. So uh, for the new motor, it's, you know, it's the third time out for the new motor. We, you know, it's, it's really going good. Tell us about the motor. Uh, it's a Cow 636 uh, built from uh, Adams Performance in uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. Um, it just, you know, it's a good, good motor. It's obviously you get some connections. I hear somebody, somebody famous owns your car. Uh, yeah, Tony. Last <laughs> Tony Stewart actually owns the car. Um, last year at Columbus, he drove it last year, and that's when uh, we decided we were going to uh, different motors. Uh, he decided that the the Hondas just weren't putting out the power he wanted to see out of it, so. He told us to go uh, go get some new motors. So how'd you get hooked up with Tony? Uh, I've been driving for Tony since '04. Um, we just grew up together racing TQs, and um, you know he's been my car owner since '04, and he's a uh, one of the, you know best car owners to have. So you drove sprint cars, TQs. What's the main difference between those two? Obviously the horsepower and size, but I mean as far as driving wise, handling. Uh, the TQs are just they're a lot more quicker to react. The steering's a lot more quicker. Uh, no power steering or anything. Uh, the car weighs 685. Um, the horsepower is a big difference. You know, sprint cars is at you know 870, 900 horse. This is you know 100 and 130, 140 horse. So it's a lot, lot, lot easier to handle. Do you think? Um, Maybe. It just because I'm so used to it. I've been driving them for 20 years. So um, my first year was last year in the sprint car. It was way different. It took me you know good six or seven races just to get used to the, some of the horsepower and stuff. What's your plans for the uh, season coming up? Uh, we're going to run the TQ as much as possible in uh, all three groups, uh, the MTQRL, UMRA, and the Kingdom of Indiana, which is tonight. Um, we're just going to go have fun and try to win as many features as we can. You got anybody that you've been racing with that you would uh, say, as far as friendly rivalries, who do, you, who do you have out there that you like to race with? You know, I just everybody. I don't have any certain people that we uh, have a rival with. It just, you know, everybody does a really good job in the TQs and um, really have fun with them. I know you got a lot of people you want to give thanks to. It helps make your uh, make your racing possible. Uh, of course, Tony, the owner. I mean, can't do it without him. Uh, again, one of the best owners to have. Um, Adams Performance, Acro Engineering. Um, um, I look at the car. Jerry Wright Auto Body, Creative Finishings. Uh, my crew, Todd Rubel. I mean, he does a fantastic job with me at every race. So. Now this car, you don't see them very often. Hand painted. Now you don't see very many more hand painted cars anymore. When did you decide to go that route? Uh, Billy Moffat actually did the paint job on it, and uh, I just I wanted to go old school and do some paint on it, and he was uh, more than gracious enough to do it. And uh, Billy does a tremendous job. I mean, it, he does a great job on the car, and um, it just I think that's a lost art for him. Yeah, it used to be back it used to be the thing back in the day, and now it's everybody wants to go with those like, high expensive graphic schemes. But hey, it looks just the same. Thank you. Yeah, he did an awesome job. It you know it takes a little bit more time, but I just I just I like it. It looks good. All right, Ron Combs here in the pits here at Brownstown.